successful van dweller. You want to be a nomad? Well, do you want to do it successfully? Well, listen up. You know, one thing that you're going to need to be successful is some sunblock, not sun, not sun um, lotion, but sunblock. It, it's a mineral. It's not made out of chemicals. It's a mineral. And you put it on your face and you only need to do it once a day. Now, a lot of you are in quartzite or you're going to be heading to quartzite. Oh, my goodness. Well, you better have this because there's no shade out there. <laughs> I mean, unless you're going to be sitting in your minivan or your van all day long. I'm serious. There's not much out there. Now, when I went out the last couple of years, I had a really nice... A Kodiak 10 it was a 10 by 14 I don't have that anymore um, but I did get a smaller one because sometimes you just got to get out of the Sun and you got to get out of your van I mean it looks like I'm in my van a lot right but I'm really not a lot of times I do my filming in here and I talk to you because I you know really I'll show you what I do and I'll show you clips but when it comes down to it I want to hand you information and in order to do that properly I want to have some good lighting and I don't want to be out in the rain and I don't want the wind blowing at me and things like that so well I don't like to be in my van all day long I really don't and when I'm in quartzite either I'm in the Sun or I'm in town in a restaurant or I'm at the laundromat or um, I'm standing out in the Sun now you can wear a hat, but you know what? That those UV rays do come under the hat. Even you can even get a sunburn on a cloudy day. So you need to have your sunblock. That's one thing you need to do. And I have a lot of friends. Whoops, turn it around. <laughs> I have a lot of friends that have never used sunblock. Oh my goodness. You know what? I put this on after I put on I put on like hyaluronic acid on my face. It's a like it's really good for you. I'm sure the gals know about it. The guys should be using it too, okay? Here it is. Yeah, it's just a clear, it's hyaluronic acid. Yeah, there you go. And I have another one too. Um, yeah, hyaluronic acid, vitamin C. This one I kind of got for my hair. Um, I know you can put it on your hair to keep moisture. What it does is it locks in moisture. Then what I do is I put this on, okay? And I do it every day. I do have some just for the face. It doesn't leave it so white. But, I mean, I've got it on and you can't see it. So, I, I do have it on for the face. If you have any questions, leave down below. Now, okay. <laughs> One of you asked about, Lee, would you please let us know and give us a playlist of foods to eat and exercises to do? Well, guess what? <laughs> I have, and I haven't talked about this in a while. Go to minivanlee.com. I have an exercise video. Just now put it on sale. I lowered the price a little bit on it. And it's a complete program. It's 50 minutes. I've got stretching. I start out with stretching. You know, you need to stretch. Then I've got some weights. I've got some um, strength training. And what I like to do is the leg work. I think that, you know, it's important to have nice looking legs. Ladies and guys too. Ladies, do you want to have nice looking legs? Well, I've got a few um, sort of like dance moves. It's more like um, leg lifts, pointing to leg lifts up and do some leg work. Because dancers have the best looking legs, right? You want to slim down your legs. You want to get some muscles built up. These are perfect for you. So go to minivanlee.com. Go there and go look at it. I mean, the front of my website is, is easy to navigate. It's easy. I've got just little little pictures with words. And, you know, just click on it. And this one is nice, a nice square. I made it a nice square. I changed it. You just click on that and go in. Yeah. I also have available a short... Um, stretching and just in case you just want to do some stretching it's like a five ten minute stretching ordeal it's it's a lot of fun it's got nice music hey y'all let's get some exercising going I want you to flex your feet and I just want you to gently it's like 
you're walking, don't bend your knees. And if you can't do that and you, you have to bend your knees, you can't straighten them, that's fine too. Further, you'll get there. If you can go down this far, eventually you're gonna um, grab your calves and then you're gonna grab your, any fat deposits that are on your back, girls and guys both. And it's going to and just stretch over. Come on guys, let's do this. Put your hand down, up. Stretch your side area, get your love handles going. Get some circulation going in there. Feet apart, I want you to bend down and if this is as far as you can go, then this is um, one is yoga, a little bit of yoga in there. Another one is a little bit of Pilates, and the other one is dancing. I'm good at putting my toes on that ballet. Work the calves. What I'll do is I'll send you the links to it. You don't have to download anything, and I don't have to send anything to you. Most of you don't even have a a a, a, a CD. Um, you know that you can use CDs on your laptops and sometimes you don't want to download so I've got it just I've got it as easy as possible so go there it is phenomenal so there you go if you want a playlist for exercises go get this exercise um, I did it two years ago so I've had that all along everybody I just probably haven't mentioned it too much before so yeah Go get them, tiger. There you go. Now, I also have eating. Now, I'm going to hear. Next, I'm going to show you my breakfast. So, stay tuned. Here you go. make breakfast. Yeah. Now, I've got some produce that I really do want to eat. I'm not sure how these tomatoes are. Around the edge here, it looks a little, but they're pretty solid. So, I think they're good. I need to eat these today. I figured I'd eat maybe... Um, one for each meal. Got an apple and I've got an avocado. This needs to be eaten. But I also, um, I'm hungry for some protein. In the morning, I usually eat protein. I'm kind of hungry this morning, so I think I'm going to make like a relish plate out of this. I got some chicken and I've got some cheese. So let's get started with this. First, I'm going to drain my chicken juice. I don't, I've, I've been suggested that I uh, save it. There's no way I would save this. I don't have a refrigerator and I don't want to drink it. <laughs> no way. There you go. I just put it in a little baggie. It's easy and then I can put the top in. And then I can put this in it. There we go. Okay, put that aside. Apple. I don't think I can eat this whole apple, but I can save it throughout the day or throughout the morning. I'll just take a few bites of the slices. I do peel my apples. Oh, yeah. I don't like the peeling. Some of you do. I've been criticized. <laughs> I've been told eat your peeling. No, I, I really don't want to. Yep. You know, I was gonna go to McDonald's this morning. It's so cold out right now. I mean, it's chilly, chill to the bone cold. And it, it did sprinkle a little bit, which means that the ground now is saturated. Oh, well, just makes it kind of hard. So I don't really feel like walking right now. I'm going to wait just a little bit. So I was going to go, well, where am I going to go? Because there's some book work I want to do. So I was going to go to McDonald's and kind of sit there, maybe drink some coffee, get myself a little um, egg, egg sausage muffin, you know, and eat that. But, you know, I thought, no, I've got some food here that I do need to eat. I still got plenty of apples in here too. I love that. I like to eat an apple a day. It's not just a, um, you know, an apple a day keeps a doctor away, but I do, whoops. Um, I do like to get the pectin inside of my body. 
I do think they're healthy. My preferred apple is um, Honeycrisp. Let me get a little baggy here. My garbage is way over there, but I can do this. Well, it's 2024. Lots of new stuff going on, right, with everybody? I went to the gym today and uh, worked on legs, did legs. I didn't really overly go for it because it's been two days since I've been there. And, uh, you know, with New Year's Eve, I was in a hotel room. And then, um, I don't know, New Year's Eve in the morning, I wasn't, like, real gung-ho. And, of course, then Monday morning, New Year's Day, I was in the hotel. So I didn't go in the morning. And I think they were, they had different hours going on. So today I'm just, I kind of, I don't want to um, stress my body out. So there we go with that. Okay, let me build this avocado. It's gonna be, looks like it's gonna be a lot of food, huh? That's okay. There we go. I just kind of give it some little slices inside of here. This is actually perfect. Not too hard, not too soft. This is a perfect avocado. Very nice. Here in Tucson, avocados are still 50 cents a piece. I know that they're, let me get a paper I know they're expensive in other areas, you tell me that. Okay, now let's check out which Okay, well, let me try this one. I think I'll just put them in quarters. Okay, does that look good? Put these up here for later. I do want to put some cheese in here. It just makes it so nice. A little bit more. I love cheese. You know I love cheese. You know, I don't know anybody that doesn't love cheese. I'm sure there's somebody around. Let's see. Now what I'm going to do with this is put... Um, Heinz 57, you know, this is expensive. This little bottle's like $6. I do like it. But I think I'll just put a little tab in here. Give it a little flavor. Not too much. A little bit of salt. This is some garlic salt I got at the co-op last year because I keep forgetting to get salt. I guess garlic will be okay on apples. <laughs> Go. Pepper. I um, ground this myself. I'll put a little bit over here. away and let me put this on my list salt I keep forgetting salt Whew. there we go okay everybody let's give it a whirl I don't have any ranch dressing to dip my apples in but that's okay that's okay Does that look good? I think. Okay. Take a bite. Mm. 
I do like to eat protein in the morning. Mm. Good, healthy breakfast. There's no way I can eat all these apples right now. But I'll finish them this morning. I'll eat these. Still have coffee from this morning. I made it about two hours ago. Mm. Being a nomad and living in my minivan, it's not always easy to cook. And there's so many dishes. I do not like to do dishes because I don't have a sink. If I had a sink, I would love to do dishes. I have no problem doing dishes. But being in a minivan, I don't like it. Um, it's just too messy and, yeah, it's too much. So this is my preferred way of eating. It's just simple produce, cut up, maybe have some dipping, but I'm out of ranch dressing. I've ordered some more packets. It'll be here in a couple days. And, but just eating just the produce, this is healthy. This is in its most natural form. And eat some protein. Oops, I need a fork. There we go. Avocado. Mm mm mm. Mm-hmm, 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 mm. Mm, mm that's good. Okay, so, you've got, you've got exercise, you've got proper eating, I mean, you're going to eat what you want to eat. I mean, but you need some basic. You need protein. I mean, I suppose if you're vegan, if you are vegan or you're vegetarian, you can go with beans and rice. You can go with a, a, a legume and a grain. Right. There you go. But you need to get that fresh produce. And as a nomad, like I said, I do the simple. I just do simple produce I don't like you know like I'm at home I maybe make soup or something well I, I don't do that here okay I don't want to do major cooking it just no it's, it's not my thing um but I think I still eat very healthy just because I'm not doing a lot of cooking I'm doing more slicing <laughs> I'm slicing up and stirring that's about the that's about as good as it gets but you do need to take care of your skin and I think we've also talked about a really good, healthy mental attitude is to be positive. Think positive. Set your goals. That's kind of what I've been doing today. I've got my list. I've got a lot of things going on today. And I want to, like, tighten things up, organize things just a little bit. So I wanted to make this video just a little bit simple. And, um, you know, so I can get it out to you. But I'm here, I'm your cheerleader. I'm here to cheer you on as a nomad. If you're gonna live in your van, well, even if you're living in your home, but especially if you're living in your van, there's no use of being in your van, of living this lifestyle if you're not gonna live a healthy one. A, a clean lifestyle, being clean, making sure that your things are, are um, not germ ridden, um, Take the time to organize and straighten up. You know, if you don't organize up, and a, a cluttered, this has been proven. I mean, this is this is textbook now. If you live in a cluttered environment, your brain is cluttered. I mean, how can you think and create under those circumstances? You need to be organized. You need to stay positive. You need to... Um, visualize who you want to be and i think we've been talking about that so if you if you're coming in right now go back about three videos three or four and start watching them and do some catch up on that i'll leave the links to those and i'll leave the link to my exercise videos to make it easy but really all you have to do is go to minivanlee.com and i pop up <laughs> i've had my website for for a few years now and it's perfectly safe. Um, it's a safe ordering from my website as it is 
from Amazon or wherever, right? Or Zappos or something like that. Yeah, it's totally safe. It's run by the same companies that they use. So exercise, go go check it out. It's not expensive. Considering inflation and everything, I didn't put the price up. I brought the price down. And you know what? It does help support me. It really keeps me going. Yeah. So I love you guys. So exercise got to keep those muscles going. And as senior citizens, did you know if you don't do any weight training or exercising, if you don't do any weight training at all, you're going to lose or, or at least do things like pick up rocks. If you're not going to do like with actual weights, you've got to do things like if you live on a farm, you're going to do things that you don't need to go to the gym. You're already going to get your exercise. But if you're not doing anything, you're going to lose every year three percent of your muscle mass yeah that's when you fall you eventually fall one time you're gonna fall I've, I've fallen before but I have muscles around my bones that are cushioning them that's what they're the, that's what they're there for also not just for strength but to protect your bone system you're gonna break a bone and you're gonna end up in the hospital or you're gonna start wasting away that's what happens. And then what happens after that? Hmm, they need to be negative. But then you get pneumonia. Any nurse, any any caregiver knows that. When you go in the hospital, you got a broken hip or something, and you have to lay there because you can't move around, you usually, what, what happens then is you get pneumonia. And then, you know, yeah. Right. So, um, work out. Let's get this exercise and going. Let's be the best version of us that we can be and I'm your cheerleader so stay tuned every day come back every day I do videos every day and I will be talking in different segments not just totally but in different segments about one way that you can improve your life okay is it a deal deal I'll be here are you gonna be here I know you will Mwah. I love you guys please subscribe and give me a thumbs up and if you need the book, How to Live in a Minivan, The Minivan Leeway. If you want to get started, are you going to be evicted from your um, uh, home this year because rents keep going up? I'm looking forward to 2024, but there's a lot of things that are just going to remain the same, like prices going up. So there you can get started with that. And that's on Amazon. I love you guys. See you tomorrow. You be here. Okay? Bye.